Hello skill modelers, welcome to day 9 of the build. Today we are going to paint and weather the engine. First I'm going to lay down a coat of Mr. Surfacer 1500 black. Next, I will add a coat of AK Interactive Dark Aluminium. Next task is to paint some RLM76 on the top of the engine. The color may vary from airplane to airplane, so check your references. Next step is to add black paint to part of the cylinders. This will be done using a Mr. Hobby flat black and I'll apply it using a paintbrush. Carburetor will also receive a black coat. Next in the painting process will be the heat shields for the ignition wires. And while I have this grey color on my brush, I will add some highlights on the black parts. The parts that are made out of aluminum, I will just use some very diluted black paint as a wash. The pipe that runs between the cylinder banks will be painted in orange. Next I will paint the intake manifold with RLM76. Now I will paint the rail with the cables for the ignition in silver. Now I will paint the exhaust stacks with very diluted brown paint. You can see my method of painting exhaust in the link in your upper right corner. To add highlights I will mix the base color with some white and will touch a few places. Mm -hmm. 
starting with my next project, this type of build logs will be Patreon exclusive feature. If you like the build you are watching and want to see more like it in the future, visit my Patreon page, linked in the description below. Check all awesome features. The bulkhead and the engine braces will be painted in RLM02. Then, as before, some highlights with base color and white mixture will be added. Now I will add some shadow using 0.05 marker with black color. To prepare for the weathering washes I am going to apply a gloss coat. For wash I am going to use deep grey from MIG for the upper part of the engine and some more uh, grimy stuff for the lower part of the engine where it is supposed to be dirtier. To remove the excess wash, I will use a paintbrush moistened with white spirit. I will use small tooth liquid chrome to represent the shiny rod. The next step will be to assemble the engine and the bulkhead.
Okay, so now it is time to add the last few details to the engine. And with this we are going to end this episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and push that notification button so you can get notified about my next episode. Until next time, happy modeling.